Yo, welcome back to another episode of Timmy Ma and Duel Links. In this video, we're going to talk about the newly added Vagrants. Um, vagrants are a new way to level up our characters. They're similar to um, Vagabonds, and uh, but they're a pur uh, in-app purchase. So before we get into talking about the Vagrants and comparing it to the Booster Dual Orb, um, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors, YGOSingles.com. If you play the TCG, make sure you check them out. They've got great prices on all of the latest TCG sets. And uh, if you use the discount code TIMMYMON, that directly helps me out to continue to bring you videos like this. So yeah, in this video, I really want to talk about the Vagrants. Um, uh, I've purchased the Vagrants um, just now and let's have a read of this um, thing. Vagrants have been added. If you defeat Vagrants, you'll be able to obtain larger amounts of EXP! Exclamation mark. Even if you lose, you can challenge them again. That's good. That's a good thing. I would hate to like lose to them and not get my bonus. Making it the perfect item to level up your favorite characters. To celebrate the addition of Vagrants, the first purchase will be available at a sale price for the duration of the campaign. Um, and here it just tells you how much EXP you're, you're likely to get. Um, I'm a huge fan that they introduced another way to level up the characters, but I'm not a huge fan of it being an in-app purchase. Um, I think there's so many different ways that they've could, they could have done this to make us not hate them, but <laughs> uh, because of this, uh, I'm really not so happy. So let's have a look what we get. I think every time you purchase, you get two fives, a seven, a ten, uh, a fifteen, and a twenty. I think that's the same every time. Um, and so what? What we're gonna do? We're gonna um, go through the uh, all of the vagrants, and then after that, we're gonna go through um, however standard, however many standard duelists I have, and I'll count how much time it takes to go through them, and then multiply it or divide it. 60 by it to see how many standard duelists you can get and then we'll calculate how much exp you get for a boosted duel orb compared to a full package of vagrants so i guess it's time to do it um yeah so <laughs> There are so many ways that they could have done this much, much, much better, but because they made it such a cash grab, uh, it, it leaves a really bitter feeling in, uh, I guess, all of the players' mouths. You know, what they could have done? They could have had a auto duel all button. With an auto duel all button, you know, how many is this? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it, so an auto duel all button would be equivalent to like a 10 times vagrant and you could do that every four hours or so that would have been a better way to do it but of course konami doesn't make money if they do that um how else they could have used gems instead of uh they could have used gems instead of um money um, even that I'm not a huge fan of because the amount of gems that we get is limited anyway so I'm not a huge fan of that because you're a lot of the time people are probably using this to get gems um, they could have I think the best thing to do maybe like use gold like it may, like how much gold it if they made like 500,000 gold per purse for a set of vagrants that would be great you know, a, you know a lot of people they have so much gold that they don't know what to do with and this could be a good way to use a gold I know for, for for me I ended up buying a lot of cards that I already had uh, just to spend the gold because um yeah if, if you do well at the KC Cup you get so much gold you don't know what to do with. Um, yeah, so I feel like Konami definitely could have done this in, in a in a different way, but because the World Championship qualifier is coming is 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 soon, um, they know that people want to qualify for uh, Worlds, and they know that people are willing to pay, especially like my for example, um, Amazon's is a meta deck, um, Jesse Anderson's got a new Crystal Beast card, you know, 
these are at level 45 so people are gonna have to spend money to get the cards that they want uh, for the KC Cup uh, oh, sorry for the world championship qualifiers so definitely uh, this is a hundred percent cash grab and it, yeah it, for me it leaves a salty uh, it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth this is like I'm not gonna deny it it's really nice to have so much exp but if that was the case like I would rather just pay like a dollar a level and like <laughs> even <laughs> Yeah, even a dollar a level is better value than this and I wouldn't pay a dollar a level so I definitely wouldn't buy the vagrants again a dollar a level if you want to go from 35 to 45 that's ten dollars times how many characters yeah even a dollar a level I wouldn't buy so no way will I buy a vagrant again but damn 7500 exp what's this last one We've got our last 20 times. Oh my gosh. 20 times 500. That's 10,000. It's like a third of a level. Yeah, I, I just think there, there are so many ways Konami could have done this better to help the community, but they ended up just trying to make money off of us. Rip. Whoa, this fragrance stick is good. It's like an anti auto duel deck. So long, sucker. <laughs> okay, how long did that take? It took like a few minutes. Okay, so let's see how long it'll take to do three legendary duelists. And do we have anyone else? And a bastion. So let's just say four legendary duelists. So this will be very rough because, you know, sometimes you're gonna lose more and sometimes you're gonna win more and because it's only four characters it's not a very fair test but these should be about 500 per win and 250 a loss and if we estimate i don't know we win eight out of ten i think eight out of ten is a very honest estimate but let's see how long it takes to do these now, usually when you're if, if, let's say you do a do 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 a boosted your world you're likely going to be like watching anime or doing something else while you're doing it so um, you might not be fully paying attention like clicking exactly on the point so we're going to add a little bit of a buffer to the time just so um, it's more realistic because I'm not going to sit there for an hour just like clicking exactly on point Yeah, but I have a feeling um, Boosted Dual Worlds are way better, but how much better? That's a, that's a question. How much better are Boosted Dual Worlds? That's two down. So we'll do two more. So I'm using a very generic deck. This is the deck from Guns Blazing channel. So far it's pretty good. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and it doesn't feel too expensive to build. Like the defensive cards, I think you can just like add like other cards if you if you don't have the these ones. And last one. one against Logan. 
And after this, um, after this, I'll, I'll, I'll calculate which one's better. Damn, you guys are watching a video of me auto dueling. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna lose this one. No way. Nah, I'm not gonna lose. Yeah, I've lost. Okay, well, our estimate about winning um, 8 out of 10 is pretty, pretty close. So that took uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds. Um, and maybe we'll round that up to 4 minutes. So give me a second and I'll calculate exactly how many, e how many EXPs, how much EXP that is. Okay, so I have just visited a calculator, so it, it works out if it works out to be about one standard duelist a minute. So if we win everything, that's thirty thousand. So if you win everything, that's the same as the vagrants. So I think that was where uh, Konami was trying to come, but um, I, we don't expect to win everything. So um, at winning eighty percent of our standard duelist games, uh, we come to two twenty seven thousand EXP. So slightly under the vagrants for um, for significantly less price. So according to this, if you have the time, um, the booster dual orbs are by far more worth it than the, the, the vagrants. So if I were to purchase one, I probably would try to purchase a booster dual orb, especially if I'm watching like a movie or watching a show or something. I can do that while I while I watch. But definitely, I feel like Konami dropped the ball again here. They could have done this so much better for the players. At least do it in a way that we get to earn it. So we could have um, earned a Vagrant instead of uh, paying for it. Or, or something like that. Um, Konami doesn't do enough for the players. But um, yeah, definitely feel like this is another money grab. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Vagrants and how Konami could have done this better. So yeah, that's it for me for today. We'll catch you guys again later. Peace out guys. See ya.